Yeah, let's get started. We're going to do this is some this is a kind of a Mediterranean. I think of an Italian village or Mediterranean scene. This is a courtyard. It's going to have flowers and things of that nature in here. And we are going to start in our sky. This is the only sky we have. This is a building right here, a house. This is it. And we want this I want this kind of light here at the bottom. This is this is phthalo blue and white. And if I didn't say it, this is liquid. I do have liquid white right here. Nowhere else. And liquid white helps your colors blend together in case you unaware. I almost always use it in my sky. Almost always. Unless the sky is so small. This is just a one inch brush. I'll probably get a two inch. Mix it up here in a second. Let me take some Prussian blue. See how dark this is? This is Prussian blue. It's in the corners and across the top and a lot of times along the edges. This is really good to use. Okay, let me get me a two inch brush. Yeah, Prussian blue is very, very strong, very strong color. I'm gonna start here in the white and I'm gonna work up, which is what you should always do. You don't wanna start in the dark and work down. We're just using crisscross strokes. Just like that, crisscross, literally. This guy ain't too hard today, is it? This is it. Wipe this off. That's about what I want. <laughs> we ain't we ain't trying to we ain't gonna be doing too much in the sky. I think it's good. See it wasn't hard, was it? I'm gonna take one of my big fat brushes I just bought. And this is this is the ground obviously, but I think I'm gonna make this block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna randomly throw some collar. I just wanna get collar down the canvas today. That's probably about all I can do today. And as far as the sun goes, we're gonna determine. I kind of made some most of this. I'm making most of this up. I got the wall and this from a picture, but that's it. I think maybe the sun will come down this way, I think. But we're just going to throw some collars in here. And I'll, then I'll take a one inch brush and I'll mix it up. I just want random collars. This is yellow ochre. I'll take some burnt sienna. Throw in some burnt sienna. I'm going to have a vine running across the top of this. So I may not put it, bring it all the way to the top. Some brown, put along the edges near the bottom. More yellow ochre. Cause I don't want it real dark today. If the sun's hitting this wall, we don't want it dark. Take some burnt umber, which is brown. This is going to be a door. Something. Something like this. Probably be a brown door, I'm assuming. As of this moment, that's what I'm thinking. And I'm gonna wipe all this off when I get done because I got, this is Monday, I got till Wednesday. I gotta do two paintings. Christmas is this coming weekend. And I'm running out of time. I gotta get two paintings done. Okay, so let's take a one inch brush. I'm going to use a different one. I'm not going to use that same one I've used. I've done that before and it creates a real mess. But I'm just going to blend this together. And this is going to be our base collar. This is all I want, just a little collar on the canvas. Nothing more, just base collar. And that's all it is. Just something to get us started. If you notice, I stayed out of this dark. 
for as long as I could. Now I've got to get in it, which is fine. This is good. I'm going to have a vine up here. I ain't worried about the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw some collar down here. I'm going to do it the same way. This is a building. And I'm just going to mix my collars up, take this brush, and stir it up. And I'll be right back after I do that. All right, I'm back. I went ahead, I just put a coating of paint on here. This is brown, white, little sienna. And I went ahead and did this. And after I did this, I took a shop towel, kind of wadded it up, because this is wet, and I lightly put on here and twisted. This is the texture you see. This is like a stucco look. This is what I'm after. I was going to make this all block, but I don't think I am. I think I've changed my mind about that to save time, basically. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I think, a row of blocks along this edge of this and a few blocks, like columns, on this. So, having said that, I got this nasty old flat brush I have that's really a junker. It's the only one I got. I can't keep them for some reason. They just don't last me, so <laughs> I got to use it. But I think I'm going to start here, and I'm going to attempt to make, with this nasty brush, try to make some blocks. Let's see here. Might be getting too small. You want your blocks kind of fat, because if, you, if they're not fat, you're going to be here working on blocks for quite a while. This is just their starting color. This is brown. I'm trying to make them as fat as I can. This is probably as fat as I can make them right here, which ain't too bad, I guess. I just want them to look like columns. At least that's my plan right now at this very moment. If they don't look good, then I'll change it. Let's see how I was going to put some here. You know, the columns to hold the wall up, basically. I've not done this before, but you know what? You don't know how something's going to look until you try it. And hopefully these will get a little neater as I go along. But this is an old courtyard. They don't have to be real neat, I wouldn't think. All right, I've changed my mind about something. These are going to be solid columns. These are not blocks. These are blocks. These are not going to be. Let's go ahead and work on this down here. Uh, we've determined, I think the sun is going to come down this way, as far as I know. We are going to put some collar down in here. And I'm going to start with the yellow ochre. You want it to get darker as you come down. But I'm going to start with yellow ochre right here. Yellow ochre, and then we're going to mix it all up. I'll even take a little white and throw in here, especially up in here. Yeah, I'll take my one inch brush here in just a minute, and we're going to mix all this up. Go ahead and get this edge while I can. And right here, I'll probably have a flower pot sitting here for sure to break up that edge. Um, let's just start randomly mixing some stuff up. Here's some burnt sienna. I really like burnt sienna. More ochre. More sienna. Uh, yeah, right down into here. Let's take some brown. You want dark spots here and there. You want it nice and mixed. Some brown. Let's throw some ochre. And this line is not very straight, and that's okay, really. Don't make no difference. Yellow ochre here. Uh, let's take some raw umber. Start throwing some raw umber in. It's darker than brown. Just throw it in. 
Oh, let's take a little, let's take a little lizard and crimson. I got some here in my palette. Let's use it. Let's throw it down here in the bottom. It's, it's reddish color if you don't know what it is. Red's a foreground color. It's fine. Let's take a little Prussian blue. Lots of colors. Lots of different stuff. That's a good variety of colors, isn't it? Now let's take our brush. This is the brush that I used for this. It's dirty, dirty. Uh, we're going to start right here in our light colors and we're going to work down. Don't start in your dark and work up. Don't do it that way. And we're just blending up these colors. We want a nice variety. See how that's looking? Look at that. I mean, that's not, to me, that looks nice. I mean, I like that. Nice mix of stuff. I'm trying to stay out of this dark color for as long as I can, and I'm about ready to run out of time. So now I've got to get down in here in it. And that's fine. You have to eventually. See the corners in the dark? I mean, the corners... And the edges are dark. It draws your eye more to the center. Plus it shows distance. Alright, this is the next day. I went ahead and I worked on these stones last night. And if you've never seen me do this, if you look for, if you look at some of my videos where there's stones, I'll show you completely how to I mean how to do that. I just did I just went ahead and done it last night. I apologize for that. Anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting in some flower pots strategically the best I can. I usually use a filbert brush, man, but man, my filbert brushes, they're just, they're like a lot of my other brushes, they're shot. <laughs> um, so this is a round brush. This is a number two. I'm just kind of doing it the slow way, kind of just painting them in. Got to do what you got to do, right? I think I'll put one here on this corner area. I'll have to go over these again. Obviously, you can see they're dark. I'm just now I'm just putting them in, just placing them, so to speak, where I think I probably want them. Paintings like this have lots of flowers in them. Um, there's going to be vines there, vines on this. This is burnt umber, yellow ochre, and some white. And I'm just put, I'm just putting them in. I mean, real quick, I'll go over them tomorrow. I'll put more highlights on tomorrow because this painting's still wet. This is still wet underneath. Let me do one more here, and then we'll move on to something else. I think I'm going to do some of these vines next. Um, let's see here. Let me, I'll make this pot different. Brown, white, yellow ochre. I'll make this kind of a short fat pot. I'm not sure why, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's still pretty wet underneath. Let's take some black and sap green. Let's see what, what this does. I'll probably use a one inch brush on that. And I might do this. So let's jump over here. This brush is probably good for this. I want this to have bushes on it, or vines. Sticking up, sticking down. I like it already. Just started. That's good. That's a good sign, isn't it? It's always a good sign when you like it as soon as you start. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign there. But yeah, this is just an old piece of junk brush. Just has some. Just find you a piece of junk brush. I got plenty of them. 
you know, even though it's a piece of junk brush, man, you can still use it for different stuff. I find all kinds of uses for junky brushes. But, but we're putting our dark collar down. You got to put your darks down first, and then we'll come back with highlights and things of that nature. I'm doing it this way just to save time. I, I, I take a brush sometimes, and I probably will with the leaves. Take a round brush and place in the leaves. But for time's sake, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. It's a little quicker, if you know what I mean. Let's take a look. Yeah, that don't look too bad. Uh, let me get a one inch brush here a minute. Let's see what we can do with this up here. Doing this the quick way also. I'm probably going to put this in because I'm running late this evening. I'm not going to touch this till tomorrow. I'm going to let it sit here overnight. And I will work on it tomorrow. But this building needs something up in here. As I was looking at it, I thought, that thing's awful plain. And that might be what it needs. Yeah, you got to put your dark collars down first. You always do that. All right, I went ahead and I put some leaves in here. We still got to put flowers and stuff on, but I'm working on this up here right now. And I am working on some highlights. And I am starting, the sun. we determined the sun's going to come down this way today. So we're working on some of these leaves right here. Just putting some highlights on it. As we're coming back, we're, they're going to get a little bit lighter. We're just going to periodically put a few in here and there. I want this area here to be a little darker than the fore area, front area. Because I want the sun to be touching this, this the front part of it here, like it's supposed to be. And these are just basic highlights. This painting is not a hard painting. This is a pretty easy one, really, for a beginner. Pretty easy painting. It's, it's not real complicated. I mean, you know, that may be good enough right there. I mean, I'll have to stand back and look at it here in a little bit. But I just want to show you what I'm doing. All right, this area here, I'm going to use a fan brush. This is further back than this. I'm going to start with some green and yellow. Got to have at least three collars. This was our base collar. Um, I'm just going to throw some green in here just to give it an extra collar. This is green and yellow. Cad yellow light. Green and cad yellow light. I'm just kind of using the edge of the brush. We want this kind of kind of messy, just like it is. That's the way we want it. We want branches going every direction. Okay, just keep going. <coughs> Green and cad yellow light. Okay, that's not too bad right there. Okay, now let's clean our brush a little bit. And we just want to use pure cad yellow light. 
Yeah, on these flowers here in the pot, I think I want to use some cerulean blue, some cad red light, some nice bright colors. I may put something flowers in here and here. I may, I may not. I don't know. It's one of them things I haven't determined yet. So try to get you some clean yellow on your brush. And we're just going to hit some, we're just going to try to hit some spots we think the sun may be hitting the most or the light. See, just like that. You don't want it over the whole thing. You just want it where you think the light may be touching. We know it's pretty much touching the top of it. We do know that. It's pretty much touching the top of it. Probably touching right there. You see, that looks nice. A little bit right here, like it's sticking out. Give it the appearance of sticking out a little bit. Right here too. Okay, we're just gonna keep going here. See, this is not, painting is not complicated. It's a good one. Good one for a starter painting. For a beginner's painting. Okay. All right, let me think what else we're gonna do and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead. I went ahead and put put these bushes in here. It's just black. I took a one-inch brush, stomped them in. That's really in blue on top. It's no big deal. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to work on this right here. This pot right here. I'm just going to put some leaves in here. Use some dark colors first. This is Prussian blue, sap green. This is a close-up pot. It's probably still wet. I don't know. It's. I put this in yesterday. This is the next day. So it may not be too wet. Where it sat overnight. So we're going to bring it on down. Prussian blue and sap green. Make it pretty wide down here at the bottom. Just throwing some collars in. Now, let me clean my brush a little bit. Let's put some sap green and cad yellow light on top of that. This is a big brush I'm using. A little bit too big, probably. But this is a big pot also. We're just going to I'm just going to whip this in, so to speak. This is our mid-tone collar. You want some of this darkness showing so you don't want it over the whole thing. That's probably about good right there for what we're doing. Now let me clean my brush off again. Actually, let me get a different brush. A smaller one. This will be for our cad yellow light highlights. And I hope I got enough. And boy, I am scraping the bottom of the barrel. Should have looked at this first, but that's okay. And the sun's coming down this way. So we're going to highlight what we think the light is hitting. turn my brush sideways because I'm running out of paint. I have to get paint somewhere and it's on the side of my brush unfortunately. The sun's probably coming down this way. The light. I always say sun. I mean light. Excuse me. What a habit I got. I always say sun. That's probably okay. We want this dark right here. All right, let's put some flowers on. That always makes things pop, don't it? We're going to start with some red. We're going to start with alizarin crimson. 
and I think I want this one, this one, and this one to be red. So I'm just going to put some crimson on here. This is going to be my base. I'm going to put CAD Red Light on top of it. And it really makes it pop when you do that. They don't, you know, you don't have to use a ton of them. There's three flowers. Let's put one right here. Maybe one right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a good number. Um, let's see. These would be a little different type of flowers. There's four. There's five. Okay, let's start here. One, two, three. You don't have to count them like I'm doing. I don't know why I was counting them like that. Four sound like a kid. One, two, three. Let's put one right here. One right here. Let's do one more, I think. Right here. Okay, let me wipe this brush off and then we're going to put some CAD Red Light on there. One of my favorite colors. If not my favorite, it may be my favorite. I don't know. CAD Red Light. This usually really makes them pop pretty good. Really nice color. But see that dark red gives it a nice base. The alizarin crimson. And then you put this on top of it. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Beautiful color, CAD red light. Man, look how that's popping. Whew. I like that. I like colors. I like bright colors too much, probably. Probably like it too much. You can like a color too much, and then you wind up overusing it. I have to watch myself doing that because I, I tend to do that too. Let me find me a brush that's fairly not it ain't clean at all, but it's don't have a dark color on it. I might put cerulean blue on this one. That's another one of my favorite colors. And the reason is because I have some left. See? Right here. Actually, what I want to do is start with Prussian blue before I do that. Let me wipe that back off. I almost forgot. Let's take some Prussian blue. And let's put one right here. Let's put one right here. Well, Prussian blue is a dark color. I mean, a, yeah, a dark color, isn't it? I mean, man, it's harsh. <laughs> you want a dark color, Prussian blue is it. It's, it's a dark one. Let's see, that's four. Let's put one right here. Now, let me wipe this brush off or I won't be able to get any cerulean blue on it after using that color. Okay, cerulean blue it is. Let's just touch it. Nice blue color. See, that's a good color too, man. And no doubt about it. One more. Right here. Okay, now we got some nice colors on there. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I like paintings like this. Lots of flowers, collars. I like it. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos.
and thanks for watching.